everybody. I want to talk to you guys a minute. We had a conversation about water and what we carry for water. So I thought I'd just go through what I do for water. Uh, it's not what you do, it's what I do. So um, let me start from the, from the top down. So on the back of my truck, I carry a five gallon Lifesaver jug. The Lifesaver jug has an adapter on it so I can stick a little shower head on that and use it for washing vehicle, washing uh, hair, washing equipment, whatever I need to wash off. It makes it real easy. It's got a pump on one end, the pump itself. It's got four layers of filters built into it. I can carry extra filters, which I do. I can change them out on the fly. Get the thing too damn dirty, I can throw a filter away, just put another filter in. Also gives me five gallons of water for the side of the road. I find somebody with a broken down car, I break down, they need water. I got five gallons of water I carry with me. I can also drop that into smaller packs and uh, carry it on me if I needed to fill up my packs as well. In my truck, I have a rucksack. It's buried in there. I'm not going to pull it out because I don't need to for what we're doing right now. But in it, I have a small lifesaver. The small lifesaver gives me a couple quarts of water, gives me an easy carrying strap if I want to take it out of there, turn it, pump it up, pop it open, and now I've got pressurized water coming out of there through four different filters. Again, it gives me water on the go. It gives me the ability to filter water when I need to add water to it. I just open this huge hole up here and I can fill that thing with water from a creek, from wherever I need to, put this back on, and it's got a built-in filtration system. Extra filters with it, carry them with me, have them in my rucksack, so I've got another level right there in the rucksack. Now I break down to my smaller packs. Let's say I'm just running with this. This is my everyday carry, my water belt, and my front pack. In my front pack, I have a hydration bladder in here. Inside the hydration bladder, I carry an extra cleaner. I've also cut into the line for my hydration pack a Sawyer Mini. So I've got a built-in Mini into my backpack so once I fill this up with water at a creek or wherever I need to fill it up with water, I've already got the filtration system built into it and it's in here out of the way. It's not gonna get hurt by the elements. I'm not gonna accidentally uh, leave it behind because it's already in the line itself. In addition to that on my front pack here, in addition to that on my front pack, I've also got, in the back end of it, um, no, actually not on the front pack, but let's say I'm not carrying the front pack at all. Let's say I'm just running around with my, uh, my everyday carry and my war belt. On my war belt, and take this off so I can turn it around so you guys can see on my war belt in the back here I've got a canteen and this canteen's full of fresh water always keep it full it's got a um, a canteen uh, in there and the heater in there so I've got a way to cook with the canteen and do whatever I needed to with the water that I've got in this canteen. Some good water. Now, that's obviously not filtered as it sits. So if I spin this around a little bit, I come back to this side. In here, I've got another uh, Sawyer and I've got, a, um, I've got the straw in there and I've got the little pouch in there as well. So if I only had my everyday carry, which is on me, and this, 
I've got a way to filter that water as well. In a low profile holder for water so that I can get that water in and out while I'm walking around, I can drink and I can do whatever I need to do with that. Now on top of that, I have my everyday carry stuff, which I've got a little pouch here that I keep my everyday carry stuff in. In my everyday carry stuff, I carry my little water tablets. Why? Because I may be uh, maybe in the middle of an earthquake, stuck on the side of the road, truck doesn't run. I'm in someone else's vehicle. They have none of this stuff with them. I still have the ability to work with some water. I also carry one of these in all those uh, 511 pounds pockets that I have. So now I've got a way to throw a couple of these tabs in here, get some water in here, shake it up, carry it for a while, and then I can drink some water off the side of the road. So when I talk about water, I, I, have a, I have a system that I tie from my everyday carry being the least amount of water that I carry, which is none physically on me. I don't think most of us do carry water on us, but I carry a way for me to instantly go to the nearest mud puddle and, um, and start just drinking some water right from there. Then I work my way up to my war belt. My war belt's got a, a, more, a Sawyer Mini on it. It's got a container for water. I could boil water if I had to as well, if the Sawyer got jammed on me and I couldn't get any more water through it. I've got one of these little pouches in there too, so I could if I had to. I could use the straw, back flush the Sawyer, and then I could fill one of these up, and uh, then I could put it in my canteen from there. Then I go from there to my chest rig. My chest rig also has a a water pouch on it and a built-in Sawyer Mini there. So if I lose one of my Sawyer Minis, I've still got one built into that. And then I step up to my rucksack. My rucksack not only has a water carrier that has a filter built into it that they use all around the world, but I've got extra filters to go with it in case this jams and I need to change out the filters. And then I move up to what I actually carry in the vehicle itself. I carry this inside. I have mounts on the outside of my rack here for my truck. I could put it out there. Inside, I know no one's screwing with it. I have extra uh, extra rings and extra pieces to uh, secure the seal on this in case something happens to the seal. That's it, guys. That's what I got for water. Thanks for watching.